Hi everyone, it's Eric from ecartman12.blogspot.com and thought I'd just go outside and do a little vlog video today. Many YouTubers are actually doing it and uh, it seems quite fun to actually go around and just basically explain what you're about to do in your day or what happened in your day and stuff like that. So I thought I'd just do this little extra video. No intros or anything, I'm just going to, as soon as I get home, I'm going to straight upload this straight from my IDesireS. Now, I was actually going to give you a vlog this Thursday because... Um, but apparently I'm giving it to you early, and I'm going to have to tell you why right now. Now, I was going to go to this Thursday to watch a movie in the cinema, Die Hard 5. I was really looking forward to actually watching that movie, because I loved the first four, that's why. I loved part one. Part one was great. Part two was, I thought, it was a letdown compared to the first movie, and it dropped its standards from being original to more of a popcorn flick. I still enjoyed it, though. In the UK, it got cut, though, in a few scenes to drop the rating, so... A little downside there, but just a couple scenes, and they did take some of the swearing out and replace the word, uh, the effing word with the fricking. So, imagine John McClane saying fricking, or shut the frick up, stuff like that. It's constantly, that's what they were saying, instead of the F word. So, there's that. And then there was also part three. And part three was actually made by the same director who made the first one. I can't remember his name. But that was actually a very good one. I really did like it. And the downside is the first time I actually watched it, it was when I was a very young kid. And you might be wondering that, you know, why did I watch it as a very young kid? Well, the reason was because in the UK, this movie was actually butchered to get a lower version, <laughs> to get a lower sort of rating. Uh, it was literally butchered. They took all the blood out, pretty much all the blood out, all the violence out, all the swearing out, and they cut all of it out. I was actually really shocked to actually find that out. And when I was younger, I always thought it was a bit odd what was going on. It wasn't until I was actually older and... Uh, uh, I had a much more variety of websites to go to, I actually found out what was going on, so... Yeah, I was disappointed with that, I had to actually import the third movie in order to watch it, uh, the full version. You guys in the US, none of it was cut for you. So, in the UK it was dropped to get a 15 rating, and for those of you in the US that don't know, we, apart from our younger kids sort of age ratings, we have 12, 15, and 18. And they're all pretty much self-explanatory, except 12. You have to be 12 years old in order to go in and see the movie yourself, and if you're not 12, then a parent or guardian can accompany you, and they have to be 18 or older. Somewhat similar to your R rating, except it's just a, what, it's just a 12 instead of 17 sort of thing. So, part 4 came out, and everyone was disappointed it was a PG-13. I had no idea, it was just a 15 rating here in the UK, and I thought it was similar to the third movie. I was like, yeah, it's not 18 like the first two, but it's 15 like the third movie. So to me, it was normal. To you guys in the US, you actually noticed that from R rating dropped to PG-13. And, to tell you the truth, even though they dropped the cut the swearing out and stuff, they still do use some cusses. And the cusses were really actually quite cleverly, cleverly, cleverly done, because it still felt like uh, McLean was still effing and blinding, without uh, him actually effing and blinding. So, it was, uh, I really did like Part 4. Part 4 was actually my second favourite out of the four movies so far. The fifth one's going to come out this Thursday, which is the day after tomorrow, just two days. Now, I was going to go see that movie, and I was just waiting for a... UK certificate. Pretty much all the other countries were getting their ratings and stuff. In the US, it was an R movie, so basically it's for adults, more for adults than it is for kids. And I was waiting for the UK to, for us to get our rating, and we did get our rating, and I was really disappointed. Uh, the rating we got was not not twelve. It wasn't eighteen, not fifteen either. It was dropped to twelve. Now I was pretty much expecting it to be a fifteen because from what I heard, people say it's more of a soft R, so I knew it would be fifteen. But they dropped it down to a sort of equivalent rating to you guys in the US, which is a PG-13, or PG-type movie. Uh, PG at best, but mainly PG-13. I did not like the fact they did that. I was really looking forward to seeing it as a 15-rated movie. But it turns out, by the BBFC, you know, in the US you have the MPAA, we, in the UK we have the BBFC, they actually cut the movie, because the makers of the movie, it wasn't the BBFC's fault, but it was the makers of the movie that told them to cut it for them to give it that 12 rating. So they cut all the swearing out, including uses of the F word, and yes, including John McClane's famous line, yippee ki mother effer, you know, that that line they had to cut out as well, they said. So, very unfortunate. Uh, they even had to cut all the blood splat out and take that out of the movie to give it a 12 rating. They butchered this movie just as much as the third one. The third one, when you compare it to the US version, you know, the uncut version, is unwatchable, the UK version. So... I can't believe that they actually cut the uh, the fifth movie down to a 12 rating. And 12 rating is what the kids can watch. And, like I say, it's the equivalent to your PG-13. So, not only have they cut some sort of the blood stuff out, but they've cut all the swearing out as well. And it's, I'm not going to watch it now. I was really looking forward to watching it. I hope you guys can see me here. Not very good weather out there. 
but uh, I was really looking forward to actually seeing it, but unfortunately I cannot now. I could, but seriously, it's not even worth the price ticket, the price of admission, because seriously, it's like it's, it's going to be wasting and ruining the movie. If I watch it, I might as well watch the full version, so wait for it to come out on DVD or something. But I'm really disappointed, let down, because Die Hard 5, is my, this would have been my first Die Hard movie I'd see in the cinema, because I'd be of age. So, I'm really let down by that, I was going to have a good sort of day off on this Thursday. Uh, you know, so I was going to start having a sort of day out and stuff like that, that would have been nice. But, unfortunately the movie has got a horrible low rating, so... I don't know what's going on with these movie makers now, they've dropped everything, the ratings. The only movie that they haven't dropped so far, that I'm aware of, is... Uh, Dread, which got an 18 movie. Norm normally movies like that, they try to cut them down, but they didn't, this one. Which is great, they shouldn't have cut down any other movies. They can do with exceptions, for example, The Expendables Part 1, that was cut down and given uh, a 15 rating just by cutting two seconds out. That's fine, that's just two seconds. But cutting out many of the scenes in the entire movie to give it a low rating, that is very bad, and I really do hope you can see me here. <laughs> Forgive me, this is my first vlog. My first vlog, I'll improve later on. And, uh... Yeah, so, I'm not going to go see that movie. I was going to do a vlog for you on Thursday. Basically, just come down and i just go go to my cinema and just do a few cuts and basically say I'm going to go to the cinema, what I thought of the movies and stuff, and then I'd come out and then tell you my uh, brief, uh, brief spoiler-free opinions on the fifth movie. So, that's very unfortunate I won't be able to see it, but the thing is, they're making a Die Hard 6. It's already been confirmed. And I think from what I've heard, that's going to be Bruce Willis's last Die Hard movie. So I hope when part 6 comes out, they're not going to cut it down. Because that'll be the last one, and, you know, to cut it down in the cinema means, like, you know, terrible experience. But to tell you the truth, I don't get what their plan was. If they're trying to make this more of an adult movie in the US and worldwide, that means it's got an R rating. It's going to be more for adults. But why is that in the UK? They cut it down to make it more kid-friendly. Oh, that makes no sense. But, unfortunately, I won't be seeing it. I'm going to have to wait for it to come out. But three, four months later, it'll come out on DVD or something like that. And I haven't seen any trailers or anything. That's one of the reasons I was looking really forward to it. I haven't seen any trailers, no spoilers or anything of the sort with trailers. So I would have really enjoyed it that way. I was going to, you know, not know anything about the movie at all, except that John McClane goes to Russia in this one. So, yeah, that's, I'm not going to be watching the movie this Thursday. The next one I'll probably be watching, and I'll give you a vlog on that instead, will be Star Trek this May. And after Star Trek, it will be around about my birthday in June. It will be Man of Steel. The only reason I'm going to see that is because Christopher Nolan made that, and everything he's been uh, uh, making so far, I've really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, he didn't direct it, but he's done the screenplay, he's done the story and for stuff for it, and he's a producer, so he's playing a heavy part. So I'm going to really look forward to actually seeing that, even though the trailers aren't really blowing me away. But if anyone can bring Superman back, it is Christopher Nolan. Okay, so thank you guys very much for watching this vlog. I know it's a bit long for the first vlog, but I'll try keeping it more brief in the future. Thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for my future vlogs, but... In the next video, you'll see me going back to doing product reviews. So, goodbye.